The dreaded emerald ash borer, an invasive beetle which decimates ash trees across the country, has been discovered for the first time in Clinton County. Antique, uh, oh yeah, oh my goodness, look at him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can... Oh, look at this. We rode along with members of the Wilmington Tree Commission and the Ohio Department of Natural Resources to take a look at the trees where the borer was discovered. You see it? Mm -hmm. Branching at the bottom. The so borers are, they mine underneath the cambium layer of the tree. But it's this, the directional pattern that they do it kind of distinguishes whether they're and what species, but your emerald ash borer is just a very random, they call it a serpentine pattern, as opposed to like the ash borer, which is a native borer, you know, it will be just kind of more of a linear fashion. But once they start going back and forth, that's the typical emerald ash borer pattern. Most often, the borers will eat away at the insides of a tree for years before they are even discovered. Tree Commission members told me this tree had likely been infested for three to five years. Got him. Well, he's not even an inch long. About what? Half inch to three quarters of an inch long? Uh, I, I know that the, what's, they don't take very many to kill a tree, and it's because of their serpentine activity. Mm -hmm. You know, going back and forth like this, where there's a lot of native boars out. And the native boars are very linear. You know, and that's what got confusing when they were first saying borers, because you could, you'd scratch down and you'd see these linear tunnels. You know, you could probably find one in every one of the trees. Um, but this guy does this linear stuff, which cuts all the cambium layer. Well, the serpentine he goes back. The and serpentine, forth, yeah. yeah. So he cuts it so there's no food being able to transfer. Where the linear guy, he just takes one little tiny tunnel out. And he goes. With here's, it. A, here's a classic D. Once a tree is affected, there's little that can be done to save it. Treatment can be costly and oftentimes ineffective, and normally, by the time you know your tree has it, it's too late. Luckily for us, Wilmington doesn't have many ash trees compared to other cities in our region. And take a left to the side street. Okay. Also on Wednesday, the Tree Commission was conducting a routine hazardous tree survey around town, documenting which trees might need to be removed and replanted. Got a few on the street. Root oh, let's just go damage, yes. Root damage, yes. Rot in trunk. Top. Hollow here, looking at where that. Yeah, yeah. From, there. from there to there. We know that thing's hollow then. So an eight. The tree commission said they hope to plant two trees for every one tree that needs to be removed from city property. Yeah, I mean, as far as widening. Yeah, opening up so they wouldn't have to come through and chop it. 